Hey everybody, welcome to the queue up. Today I am going to do a vinyl haul video. I didn't get to do one last month. It was really busy and I didn't get a chance to go dig for records, but this month I actually got some and it's a strange mix of music, but um, they're all really awesome records. So um, I just woke up and I figured why not sit here and reminisce about all my awesome finds. <laughs> um, I need to wake up. Ugh, so good. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this month's vinyl um, record of the month from Vinyl Me Please. It is Wilco's debut album AM. Let me show you what this looks like. You can watch the unboxing video somewhere in the description side or whatever. Um, it's this beautiful heavy duty gatefold album uh, with an amazing picture of the studio. Um, what else can I say about Wilco that hasn't been said? I, I listened to this. This is my first real exposure to the album. Here's the actual record itself. This beautiful tangerine red. Um, red and white label on each side here. It, it really... Um, I'm a fan uh, of them now. I, I can't believe I haven't listened to them before. They kind of have that country... Even like a little bit of the bluegrass feel to them. They're very really mellow and kind of just... Relaxing, I guess. Um, I listened to this album a couple times, and each time I listen to it, it just grew on me even more. So, yeah. Um, thank you, finally, please, for putting this record out. It is their 20th anniversary, so it was really cool to you know be able to get this copy of it. Um, definitely gonna look for more of their music. I don't know if I'll be able to find them, but hey, digital or vinyl would be fine with me. Uh, so anyways, that was awesome. And then I also received a record here from Cameron from Vinyl Me Please. He subscribed to my channel and I didn't know he was a part of Vinyl Me Please, but um, he reached out to me and he sent me this in the mail along with a t-shirt or two um, that I wasn't expecting. So thank you so much for that. Uh, this is Classics. It's a DJ duo from LA. So, you know, um, they're local, well, at least to me. Uh, and like I mentioned before, I'm not really like, this isn't my strongest genre. They're like considered to be like new disco. They have a little bit of house influence, um, some funk, some hip hop. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I have this now because I like being exposed to new music. And this album, I think it's called Hanging Gardens. Uh, yeah, Hanging Gardens. Um, it's just awesome. I, I love this record. It's a double LP and like the sleeves move in and out. So it's like the outer sleeve is interactive. <laughs> I really like that too. But yeah, um, I hope to maybe catch these guys like do a show here in LA. I don't know if there's still a, a group or whatever, but definitely something that you should listen to. If you kind of wanted to expand your horizons here, pick them up, listen to them. Um, just awesome. Um, so those are the picks from Vinyl Me Please. And the other records here, I actually picked this one up at um, Barnes & Noble. They have a huge record selection. And I've held off from buying this record for a very long time. Uh, this group means a lot to me. So to have this in my collection now is really awesome. Um, I am referring to this here, Nirvana Unplugged in New York. 180 grams, audio file quality. Comes with this really cool cardstock like matte finish, um, outer sleeve, some cool pictures in the back. Um, I have a ton of Nirvana stuff and I don't have too many um, albums. And it actually also came in with this really cool like black and white insert here with pictures from the actual taping of the, uh, of, of the show. And I think, yeah, it's just a bunch of credits and stuff like that. Um, it's a beautiful album. It's just really, um, I think one of Kurt's greatest moments, the the songs that he picked for this but, um, was, in, was incredible. Um, Pin Royalty, Dumb, and Polly aren't probably some of the, like, the more popular songs, you know? Uh, but the way that he played them and the way they came out for this recording, just, they're haunting. They're, they're, they're beautiful. It, they're my favorite um, versions of the song. Like, 
there's like three different versions of poly out there. There's the original, the demo, the new wave poly, and then there's this version of it. It's just choice. Um, and then you have songs like Plateau, Oh Me, Lake of Fire, and then my ultimate favorite, Where'd You Sleep Last Night, which is why I got into Lead Belly in the first place. So Nirvana was really like this album. It was a way for me to sort of branch out and listen to new artists, um, which I think should be like a prerequisite for any uh, band or group that you like. If they don't have you, if they don't help you reach out and listen to new music, then they're not doing their job. So props to you, Kurt. Maybe I'll do a video showing you guys some of my uh, other Nirvana crap because um, they were really influential to me. So anyways, I'm happy I have that and I'll definitely be looking for more stuff. Um, this next record is actually something that my girlfriend picked up for me. She's always picking records for me and she actually got me my very first Elvis record. Um, double Dynamite, it's a double album. Uh, it's a little beat up. She got it at an outdoor swap meet for a dollar. But um, the records are clean and it plays very nicely. It has a bunch of great songs on there. Uh, this is like a, a 1975 record so I'm hoping to get something where he's not wearing the uh, the suit I want something from the 50s because um, he has a lot of great recordings in the 50s I'm taking a class history of rock and roll and we started talking about Elvis in the 50s so I don't know it's just meant to be I guess but uh, great record um, I hope to get a Christmas record Elvis Christmas record I think that would be pretty awesome <laughs> um, so this next record here uh, it's a traditional folk record from Mexico. The music is called Jarocho music and it's played with a bunch of like acoustic instruments. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful music. Uh, they dress like this. This is like the traditional wear and they have like this really nice dance that goes with the music. Um, I, I don't have a copy of any of this type of music. So to have this for three bucks was a steal. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean you really kind of have just have to listen to it. But yeah, Jarocho music is the, and Hosteños, which I don't know what it is. I have to ask my folks. They don't, they'll probably know. But um, yeah, I was really excited about this. Um, the reason I even got in, exposed to this music was because of Zach De La Roca from Rage Against the Machine. He was in a Jarocho band or played with one or whatever. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. But yeah, the music is great. So definitely get to check that out as well. Um, these last three records I found at, th at a thrift store. I got the great uh, big band vocalist. It's just a comp of amazing vocalists. And the reason I picked it up is because there's a song on here from one of the records that I own now from a Gene Krupa album, Drummer Man. Uh, so it has Gene Krupa, Roy Elridge, and Anita O'Day. And Anita O'Day is amazing. So I figured everyone else on here, and there's a big list of everybody, um, is going to knock this record out of the park and I was not wrong. Um, the record is super clean. I got it for two bucks at a Goodwill. Um, I also like when they have the old school stickers like that. I wish I could have picked it up for a dollar sixty-seven, but hey, a dollar ninety-nine isn't bad at all. Um, just great jazz music. Big band. Um, the singers on here. We got Doris Day, um, Les Brown with Doris Day, Guy Lombardo with Bing Crosby. Um, a lot of these other guys I've never heard of, so it was a great like way to be exposed to them. So hopefully now I'll have something else to look for when I'm digging through records. Um, but yeah, two bucks, awesome find. And then here I have this awesome copy, it's really nice, of Glenn Miller, Pure Gold, the song In The Mood. I'm sure it's something that you guys probably have heard in, mu in like movies, commercials. Um, just amazing condition um, and it was actually sold at Best Buy I didn't realize that Best Buy had records at one point so that was kinda cool <laughs> two bucks as well so there's that here's the back cover of it as well and then the last record is something that my girl my girlfriend pointed out um, okay so the cover says more dirty dancing I think this is like a second album that was released for the movie um, but when I pulled out the record and I started listening to it, I realized that the record Inside the Sleeve was a completely different record. It's actually the record from the first movie. Um, and it has great songs on there, like Time of Your Life. Uh, it has um, Stay, which is one of my favorite songs. And uh, 
Hungry Eyes, which is really cool too. Um, really clean record. Kind of weird that I got the wrong sleeve for it, but um, maybe I'll find the actual re you know, record that it belongs to and I'll switch them out later. But this record's supposed to have like the Drifters on there, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons, the Contours, um, the Shirelles. Just overall great <laughs> selection of music. And I got all these for two bucks. I've uh, been getting a lot more soundtracks lately for some reason. So uh, maybe I'll have more of those and I'll do like a soundtrack haul or something. But uh, anyways, that sort of concludes the uh, vinyl haul for this month. I uh, can't wait to go digging again this month. Thank you for watching, for liking, subscribing. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day, weekend, whenever you watch. I don't know what day you're going to watch this, but just have a good day. <laughs> Thank you for watching.